Hello. I'd like to demonstrate an oxidation reduction reaction involving magnesium ribbon, magnesium metal, Mg, solid, and copper sulfate. The copper is in the plus two oxidation state, copper ions. And I want to just show you that this is a very spontaneous reaction. The copper gets reduced. The magnesium gets oxidized. You can see it's very shiny. And when I put it in here, it becomes dark. And what actually happens here is the magnesium solid gets oxidized, loses two electrons. Each magnesium ion loses two electrons. Those two electrons go to the copper ions, which get reduced to copper metal. It doesn't look much like copper because it's very fine. Uh, copper and it looks kind of brownish black, but uh, it is actually copper. So this is an oxidation reduction reaction. Uh, loss of electrons, LEO, oxidation. This is, magnesium is getting oxidized. Gain of electrons reduction, GER, LEO GER. Gain of electrons reduction, the copper is getting reduced. Copper has a greater tendency to get reduced and uh, therefore copper ions get reduced and the magnesium metal gets oxidized. And now I'm going to show you how you can exploit this reaction to produce electricity in a wire through an electrochemical cell. Okay, as we saw previously, when you take magnesium metal and put it in a solution containing copper ions such as copper sulfate, the magnesium metal gets oxidized and the copper ions get reduced. So an oxidation reduction reaction. And we're going to now make that into an electrochemical cell. So we have here a strip of magnesium ribbon immersed in a solution containing magnesium ions. And we have here a piece of copper metal immersed in a solution of copper sulfate. And we have a salt bridge. It may not be that apparent, but it's there. And so now I'm going to complete the circuit. And I think you can see the LED light source goes, ignites, gets lit, lit up. And so we are exploiting this particular oxidation reduction reaction in order to produce electricity. So the sequence of events, a magnesium atom on the surface of the metal loses two electrons. The magnesium becomes an ion, a plus two ion. It goes into solution. The electrons go through the wire, through the LED device, and into the copper cell, where the two electrons will cause a copper ion to be reduced to copper metal. And the salt bridge completes the circuit. Since you are reducing the number of positive ions here, uh, I'm using a sodium chloride. The sodium ions go in to replace it to keep this side neutral. And since you're producing positive ions on the other electrode, you're going to get a uh, negative ion, the chloride ion, uh, making that cell, uh, that compartment uh, neutral. So uh, oxidation takes place at the cathode. And so this is the cathode. The zinc is getting oxidized. And reduction is take place at the anode. The copper is being reduced. And again, if we uh, remove the salt bridge, if you take a look at this, the light goes out. So you have to have the salt bridge in there to uh, complete the circuit. And there it's back on. So thank you for your attention, and I'll see you next time.